the 17th of October, 2021. Welcome to the propaganda machine that is nuclear. Hope everybody's doing good. If that's even possible. I'm Dana. And I hang my shingle at the nuclearproctologist.org. You can call in at 709-589-4406. Let's get on with it. So there's an incredible picture. Not video, because all the last two prime ministers, including the current one, three, haven't shot any videos, yet they claim to have went to the nuclear meltdown site. So why not shoot like a one minute video? <sighs> so this was surprising really. When you look at the picture, it's hard to wrap your mind around it if you're not familiar with the subject. That's reactor, well it was reactor three in the background. They faked that too, by the way, I'll show you. <clears throat> And detail it now. So, a good thing to use if you're trying to do green screen is the clear umbrellas. That's a brilliant idea because it simulates you can see stuff through the umbrella, right? But you notice that it fades out right here. Now, I do a lot of green screen, green screen stuff, and you can see parts of the stack, which is, by the way, that's faded in the background. I don't, I have uh, eight lenses, and I don't know of a single lens where you can take clean pictures and faded pictures in the background. It's usually blurry, or it's equivalent to what you're seeing there. It's never faded. Faded is a sign of green screen, and I'll just show you coming up. And so you see the blue screen, but these are clear. You can see all the lines of the other umbrellas through this, but you can't see a bright blue. Really, it's not a, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. It really shouldn't. But uh, what's really interesting and stands out is this arm <laughs> right here with the faded overly faded because uh, when he they put him there the arm there first with the umbrella then they put him in front of it and you can see between these legs we got better pictures coming up that first off he's too close to the rail for somebody to stand up there in order to stand up there you have to be on the other side of the rail uh, and I can show you where this picture was taken coming up in a little tiny bit so that's that was um, put f uh, in first, and this is why you're seeing the faded in the background. It's not blurred, it's faded, because the more you do that to the picture and render it, and then you uh, lay them over it, he's too close to the rails for someone to stand up behind him. Uh, I'm going to show you other pictures of other like the IAEA standing up in the same spot, coming up. That arm was inserted into the picture. So this is faded completely out when it should be perfectly clear. And then you don't see the blue through a translucent umbrella. You can see the other umbrellas through it, but you can't see something, which is the stack, through it. <clears throat> that's a really clean picture. That's definitely that's definitely photoshopped. They never went there, and the evidence now is overwhelming. They they simply never went there. I will get into it coming up here in a moment. Hope everybody's doing good. Hi, Colette and Chandra. We got a poll tonight. I'll put that up there for you very quickly. And the poll is... 
Should the Japan Prime Minister apologize for faking the picture and then resign? Of course, there's always the nuclear industry pestering me. We're doing amazing. We've got 10 people on our show. <clears throat> That's incredible. The nuclear industry is slacked off tonight. Boy. So... He didn't go there because that's actually what Reactor 3 looked like. This was a mixed oxide fuel facility. And I'll show you where they allegedly took the picture from. They took the picture. Now, you remember seeing that there, that round thing right there where my cursor's to? So they would have took the picture up there by the administration's. Because not down there or where that vehicle is, but up here. Now, they cemented all of this in there. You see all that cement? That's because of the fuel rods spreading everywhere during the detonations. But the picture was likely, allegedly, was took up there. <clears throat> up right there. But uh, they weren't stood up there. And you can see reactor, that's reactor four, that's reactor three. I'll come back to that. And that's actually what's left of reactor three. And so what they done was they built that cap on it you see over there, and which is 177 feet high. The buildings are normally 190 feet high. So they put this cap, constructed it off site, brought it in with cranes and put it there and claimed that it was perfect inside of the building that it actually didn't look like that when it did look like that. We'll get to that. TEPCO admits the ice wall will not stop the groundwater from entering the reactor buildings, what's left of them. TEPCO to abandon the Riva system, August the 12th, 2014. That's the water filtration system scam that they had going there. Uh, for the last three years, the system has been unused and kept out of operations. There was no filtration whatsoever. It's because it's lethal doses, right? Once the filter gets used, now you can never get near the filter again. TEPCO failed to deliver on a promise to install a fence to restrict contamination from hemorrhaging into the Pacific Ocean because it was going to cost a billion dollars. That's why they didn't put a fence dirty claim, but a fence, nothing's going to work. It's a nuclear meltdown, for goodness sakes. Japan may have to change decontamination efforts after labor shortage. So labor shortage, you're not talking about TEPCO employees. They're talking about homeless and victims of society. Researchers are too frightened to get closer than 100 kilometers you really think the Prime Minister is going to go there and get his picture taken? Water cannons can't spray the reactors. That's forever. High radiation levels around the plant prevented the helicopters from dumping water on the spent fuel pools. High radiation forces withdrawal of workers trying to restore power. Fukushima 311 tapes is trying to make a geezer suicide squad. This incredible contempt for people that worked all their lives. TEPCO admits it'll run out of workers in five years, which is the homeless. Uh, early on, they were saying the Tokyo vice governor suggested a Fukushima draft. All of Japan must go to Fukushima. 60 and older should be prepared to die at the nuclear meltdowns. They love you so much. It's unbelievable that they would not university nuclear experts or nuclear scientists or the military or something like this, but 16 older should be prepared to die because your power plant broke down. <clears throat> it's, these are bizarre headlines. All of eastern Japan evacuated the Fukushima plant was abandoned. Send us Another example, immediately dying. after the first hydrogen explosion, TEPCO gave out an order uh, to, or uh, a request uh, to all of these um, uh, dispatching, labor dispatching companies, and they said, send us people who don't mind dying. Send us people who don't mind dying. 
Homeless are being sold to companies and put to work on the nuclear meltdowns. You really think they're going to go there? They didn't shoot a video. They shot two pictures. That's what showed up on the internet. It was two pictures. And this one is obviously photoshopped. 100% photoshopped. It's absolutely shocking. Homeless are taken to work in Fukushima ready to die. And at the end of the month they're left with no money. The homeless, the mentally handicapped are working at the plant. Unskilled and destitute are the hiring targets, not nuclear scientists. Help wanted ads seek employees able to carry out a conversation. I exclude those bimbos, idiots, morons. Some people not even being given food and have no place to go. Does that sound like nuclear scientists to anybody? Co-workers are violent. Fukushima worker, Fukushima victim, I wanted to escape from the nuclear meltdowns but feared he might hurt me. A Photoshop, they, they photoshopped him being at the plant. Unbelievable. TEPCO gets approved to release more Fukushima water into the Pacific Ocean. Japan failing to live up to pledge to accept outside assistance. Half of Fukushima workers may be illegally contracted. TEPCO submits criteria to the Nuclear Regulation Authority to dump contaminated rainwater into the ocean. Regulators urge TEPCO to dump, even back in 2013, and I showed you the headline earlier of it where the, the, the water filtration system wasn't even used, and they're still calling it tritiated water regulators, which is captured regulators. One of the most insidious headlines in 2013 was claiming that they're taking fuel from the Reactor 4 fuel pool. <clears throat> this is interesting. So you look at that, you really don't see much, right? But when you zoom in, you start noticing that everything is blotted out. Identification is blotted out. You see it again, and you see it again, the identification of it is blotted out. But see, the reactor didn't actually look like that. It looked like th to the left. So it's not photoshopping, it's just fake. So it's not a far stretch to imagine if they're willing to fake that. And, and they are. Here, look, they're claiming they're in a pool. Listen to it yourself. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake in 2011, leading to the country's worst nuclear disaster. So what they've done to trick you was they scrapped the building with the homeless and remote control cranes. Then they brought in these structures that were built off site and they've laid them in place with cranes and then they put panels on it and then they claimed it, that it looked like that when it actually looked like this over there. Then they came out in 2013 and, and pretended it looked like this. In fact, Ernie Gunnarsson was included in most of the stories that when it said it looked like that, Ernie refused to show these two pictures side by side. Now, I built, the division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. So how is it that he built the assemblies for the same fuel pools? How is it he doesn't know that that one over there is not this building here? Now, his wife was a spokesperson for the nuclear industry for a few decades. Why is information on a um, casket redacted well because it's a fake billing it's redacted on the top too and on the side does that look like a 190 foot building right there and you always see these pictures of people just pointing in paper suits Suits are never dirty. There's never any tears in the suits. TEPCO admits, this is a fun story from 2013. 
See the people stood on top of these bags, bladders? These are bladders. These are what they call temporary storage pits for the water. They're trying to trick people. This is all about tricking people into thinking they're not radiating the ocean. This is a public relation scam. And so the numbers of these inside of these bags per cubic centimeter are incredible. You couldn't physically stand on the bag without getting killed. TEPCO plans to dump the water stored at Fukushima. Just flashing through some headlines before we jump into the story. It gets approval to release more Fukushima water into the Pacific 2015. TEPCO says groundwater bypass operations have no effect on Fukushima water at the Diachi plant. And TEPCO's ice wall not meeting expectations. In fact, it didn't even work. We can't make the temperature low enough to freeze the water. Right, remember the ice wall fable? And then you never heard of it after, did you? Because it didn't work. TEPCO's unable to bring contaminated water issues under control of Fukushima. Uh, goal in, by 2015, they had promised to treat all the contaminated water. Well, the problem is, if you fill up the tanks, this is 2.2 sieverts per liter. So one gallon is a lethal dose if you sit by it for a little while. If you fill up the tank with that stuff, it's 1.4 million sievers. You can't build another tank on site. Fukushima Prefecture requested Japanese government to remove TEPCO from management of Fukushima Daiichi decommissioning because TEPCO is not a, a decommission authority. They don't have any skills in it. They're an operator. They don't build the plant. They don't fix the plant. They're operators. And they hire people to operate it. They're, they're not decommission authorities. So you see all kinds of fake news and fake stories. It's not a hard stretch to imagine them faking that. I mean, the arm behind him, <clears throat> there's no way you can fit in behind him. It's photoshopped. So this story came out last night. Japan Prime Minister... Kishida visits the crippled. And it's such an insult to call what's left of these buildings crippled. Does that look like it's crippled over there to anybody? The nuclear industry is a direct threat to all species and the continuation of life on this planet. Prime Minister... Uh, Fumio Kishida on Sunday visited the, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant for the first time since taking office. Japanese Prime Minister visits the crippled Fukushima Daiichi October 17, which is today, our time. <clears throat> the only problem was, is the pictures, a plant unit is seen behind them, which is reactor what's left of reactor three. Then they put a cap on it to make it look like they can get the fuel out of it. I'll explain that in a bit. After inspecting the plant, which suffered multiple meltdowns, you never see the words multiple nuclear meltdowns, Kishna offered flowers and a prayer at a monument, monument to the disaster in NAMI. He found that was entirely off limits due to the nuclear meltdowns. And the ruling party had promoted use. Now, the first thing he'd done when he got elected was swore allegiance to the nuclear industry. The very first thing he'd done, publicly too, on top of that. Yet he's too much of a coward to actually go to the nuclear meltdown site itself. If he did, they would have shot a video for starters. And they would, you know, they would have had all the media there and there would have been all kinds of different pictures, not just two. He visits the crippled nuclear plant. It's expected to show he's resolved to make an all out efforts to tackle misinformation and unfounded rumors related to the planned release of the water. Well, misinformation is fake in pictures. Rumors is fake in pictures and pretending you're there. And taking the picture from way back, 
And there's another picture coming up where they're pointing and they're pointing up where there's nothing to. Photoshop, see? Just pretend that you're pointing at something. But when you line it up, they're actually pointing at the sky. After inspecting the plant, the plant which suffered multiple meltdowns, he offered flowers. <clears throat> An unprecedented triple, had to go somewhere else to find the word nuclear, meltdown. So once again, let's look at this because these are translucent. These are translucent umbrellas, which is perfect when you're doing Photoshop, of course. So this umbrella here, you can see the umbrella in the background, right? But this umbrella, which is translucent, the same one, you can't see the, the blue stack behind it. And then this umbrella with the fake arm, which faded in, but when they when they put them in there, it caused degradations of that little thin line. And so that disappeared. And, that, and the camera doesn't work this way where you can get a clean shot of them but not a clean shot of the background. If it is no shot, if to see the background is either uh, blurred out completely <clears throat> or it's the same quality, but you, it can't be faded. Cameras don't work that way. And so you can't see the stack and you can't see part of the umbrella is faded out. It's photoshopped, 100% photoshopped. And then there's no way, if he was behind him, you would see him between his legs anyway. But he's so close to the rail, and you can see the rail is faded out pretty good too. Because they inserted him and in, rendered it and then put the rest of them in there. It's outrageous. It's 100% outrageous. He's a very, very tiny Japanese man on top of that. And look in the background how everything is faded, not blurred. Which is the number one indicator that is Photoshop, besides the documentation I already showed you. Because lenses, lenses work a certain way. They, they, they don't do faded in the background and, and clean in the front, see? I know, because I do a shitload of green screen. For years and years and years. Now the building <coughs> over there, Reactor 3. Look here, you can see the building is destroyed. They put this cap on it to, tri to trick people, right? It originally looked like this. There is no building. It's completely gone. This was Reactor 3 to mix oxide fuel. Here's it blown up. You see the fuel assemblies from the fuel pool falling back down in a second. Now the building is 190 feet high, so imagine how big these detonations actually are. In fact, they were felt 25 miles away. So when you look into that hole there, it's faded, not blurred. So when you zoom in on it, you can see the damage underneath it. There's no integrity there. Same as this building, it's faded instead of blurred. So when you go back and look at what they've done, they put a structure around it. The structure there doesn't physically touch the building because there's nothing there with any integrity, right? So that's reactor three to your right. And now it's magically supposed to look like this. That's the official picture. And again, that's an amazing picture up there where you can't see the stack. And then the other umbrella, the top part of the umbrella is actually missing. That's Photoshop. There's a 100% unequivocal Photoshop. He hates the Japanese people with a passion, you can tell. And so this, this is incredibly um, faded, it's not blurred. And so when you look at the gaps around him, the guys with the arm doesn't exist, but he's so close to the rail, there's actually nowhere for him to stand up there. And his arm is disproportionately size. 
and his umbrella fades out at the top, right? And he couldn't hide behind him. You would see part of him right there through that because he's wearing blue. See, like the guy here is wearing blue. So if you look at, here's another one where they, they've done the exact same thing. Right? This is a IAEA scumbag, Grossi, and that's the same building. So it's taken basically, allegedly, they're using the same picture. They done the same thing with Shinzo Abe, except he, he moved down a little ways. But again, what you're seeing is it's faded, not blurred. And again, with each of these, there was no video. So sugar is actually, look at that, that's actually clean. That's actually clean. So they've done a good job on that Photoshop. Right, look at, and see the rail right there? So when you see the rail in their picture, you can see it over there, extremely faded, because it's been rendered a couple of times, right? Where with sugar, all they done was a single shot and they faded them in, right? First off, there's only one spot you can take that picture. Let me show that to you again. It's quite a long ways away. <clears throat> so they're, they're not stood over by the common spent fuel pool, which is over there. They're not going to be stood up right up over here because there's nowhere to stand up. They're up higher than things. The only spot they could be is up here. Right? So they took the picture from up there. Then they have a green screen with a rail. So they stand in front of the green screen and put their hand on the rail. And then they insert the background into it. So this was a different media where this picture, they actually done a good job on that one. But for, for Shinzo Abe, it's a really poor fake job. And the same thing for Grossi from the IAE, it's a really poor Photoshop job again. And so when you're looking on Reactor 3, there's a great big hole there. Now this is the, another picture last night, and they're pointing up. They're in front of a green screen, they don't know where to point, right? They should be pointing down, because they're pointing up, there's nothing up there to point at. I'll show you what I mean here. Because they're on top of the hill. They got to point down at everything. They're actually pointing up. So there's nothing to point at. <clears throat> right? And we, we got hundreds and hundreds of pictures of them doing stuff like this where they point up. Just random. And then when you put them in a the green screen, you put them up close to a building, then they're pointing up. They're never working, they're never dirty, they never got tears in their gear. It's a strictly, strictly about propaganda. So again, you're seeing the faded buildings in the background, not blurred. Right, in order to do Photoshop, you gotta render it, and that causes it to be blurred. And if you keep rendering it, and you reuse the render, it's gonna get more blurred. And anyone who don't know that, they'll they'll accidentally start doing that. Now in the background, you can really see how blurred it actually is. When you zoom in, look how blurred it is. All the pieces are missing. So you can't take a picture, have them clear shots, right? But not clean shots in the background too. It either is gonna be faded or blurred out, or it's gonna be faded. If it's faded rather, it's, it's Photoshop. So they were inserted over the picture. They're a higher quality. Because that's how cameras work. I've taken like a half a million pictures in the last number of years on research expeditions, for goodness sakes. And I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, green screen stuff over the years. 
And so it's just it's just rudimentary Photoshop. You you need a high very very high quality picture to make it look like you're actually in the picture. It's shocking, really. And it shows you this incredible contempt. And then he came out a few hours later and says, Japan's Fukushima release from the tanks can't be delayed. Now, I counted the tanks. There's only 750 tanks. I have 300 pictures of the site. Japan's Fukushima releases can't be delayed. Whose name they got there? <coughs> Mari Yamaguchi. Mari Yamaguchi is to cover, where, I don't even know if she's a real person, but that's the cover story, Mary Yamaguchi. Japan new prime minister says the planned mass disposal treat of water, still radioactive water stored at the tsunami wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant. They always got to use the tsunami wrecked, cannot be displayed despite concern, delayed despite concerns for local residents. Speaking at his first visit to the facility since taking office, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said his government would work to reassure the residents in the prefectures The Fukushima plant suffered a triple meltdown, a triple nuclear power plant meltdown. You won't see those words. I felt strongly that the water issue is a crucial one that should not be pushed back, he told reporters after the tour. <clears throat> so Joe Biden, when he goes somewhere on a plane, there's another plane also, but his plane is going to be full of reporters and the other plane is going to be full of reporters. Japan's one of the biggest economies on the planet. They're going to do the exact same thing. It's really interesting that the reporters are not there with multiple pictures. Because we have a precedence of doing that before when he faked Reactor 3 and he faked Reactor 4, right? Kushida told reporters after the tour. That's very telling. Not during the tour, but after the tour. Why didn't the reporters go there? It was a big moment, his first visit to a nuclear meltdown site. Well, first off, they don't want the reporters. <clears throat> See, this picture here is an accident. This should never have been released. When you zoom in on this picture, that's reactor three. Well, it was reactor three. You can see there's nothing left to the building. But behind it is reactor, what's left of reactor four. And you can see all the debris behind reactor four. But reactor four is supposed to be a beautiful, symmetrical building, right? <clears throat> Keep it rolling there. So there was no reporters there to verify it, no videotapes, and just two pictures, both of them with very, very, very grainy, dubious backgrounds. Reporters. The water has been pumped up from the basement and stored about a thousand tanks. Remember, this is Mari Yamaguchi. And I'll show you Mari Yamaguchi coming up here in a second, all the way back to 2013. We will provide explanations for the safety of the disposal from a scientific viewpoint and transparency in order to dispel various concerns. <clears throat> Japanese officials say disposal of the water is indispensable for the plant cleanup and that its release into the ocean is the most realistic. Well, it's not, it's actually a crime to dump nuclear into the ocean. This is a nuclear, multiple nuclear power plants and fuel pools that have melted down on top of that. This is an absurd event. But CTV came out and with Mary Yamaguchi and the 
despicable cowards from Globe and Mail. The disgusting parasites with the Globe and Mail. They all came out with Mary Yamaguchi. The Globe and Mail was pumping Mary Yamaguchi. I'll show you why that's important coming up. And they get the same narrative, the same pictures, and the same photos by the same authors at the same time worldwide. <clears throat> Everybody has the same conversation because they don't have a new narrative. I'm providing you with a different narrative of documentation only. Water has been pumped up from the basement and stored in about 1,000 tanks. Associate Press. Now, Mary Yamaguchi, the Associate Press. 1600 plus medias have spider bots and what they do is they aggregate whatever the associate press pukes up immediately onto their sites automatically that's how the propaganda works the associate press the water been pumped up from the basement stored about 100 tanks so that's wkyc you just seen the global mail here's ctv mary yamaguchi Mary Yamaguchi. Water's been pumped up from basements and stored in about a thousand tanks. Now, I tweeted her today, called her a murderer. That's all I tweeted was murderer. Fukushima operator accused of cover up over contaminated water set to be poured into the Pacific. It's much worse than what they're claiming. Japanese government has been accused of cover up after it refused to allow independent testing of the water from the tanks. Now the problem is, if you fill up a tank of 2.2 sievers, they're just talking beta now. They're, it's not including alpha and gamma and neutrons, just beta per liter on top of that, lethal doses by the gallon, then the tanks are 1.4 million sieverts. They're 1.4 million lethal dose, above times a lethal dose basically. You can't build another tank on site. And if you did, so you built all the tanks and then you filled them up, which is not what they've done, they claim to have done. So if, so if you built all the tanks and then filled them all up, the, the site would melt down because you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of billions of sieverts. This, this will kill you from miles and miles away with the neutron burst and the gamma shines and the x-rays. Not only that, the tanks, were jimmied together and they were bolted together. They were temporary. They weren't meant to last for very long. The idea of the tanks was to trick you into thinking that the ocean is not being killed. That's what they were up to. Because the ocean is being killed and so they went to the extreme so you couldn't point the finger at them. And they have all this media. So go back to 2013, Mary Yamaguchi. Mary Yamaguchi, in 2013, 1,000 steel tanks. So you got 1,000 steel tanks today, but you had 1,000 tanks in 2013. And in 2013, you can see them fake in reactor for all the media, allegedly, at, they're not even in Japan, for goodness sakes. America has 73 similar plants. In 2014, Mary Yamaguchi, says they have 1,200 tanks. And 1,000 tanks in 2013, 1,200 tanks in 2014. In 2017, they had 900 tanks. In 2019, they had, in that line there with my fingers too, 1,000 tanks. And in 2021, this year in April, they have a thousand tanks. And today, October the 17th, 2021, they still have a thousand tanks. So what's going on? How can you have a thousand tanks, 2013, 1200 in 2014, and just a thousand tanks again today, all these years later, eight years later? Because the tanks are empty. The bolts in the Water storage nightmare, bolts and Fukushima tanks will corrode just a few years. Now we're talking about lethal doses by a gallon. They're spraying it allegedly over the reactor cores that are 
that when China syndrome, because a lot of the reactor core is detonated. Two secrets an hour of beta from a single liter of leaked water. Now, when you put that kind of emitter, that kind of water, this is fuel pellet debris that's causing the water to have that kind of a number. It's going to settle at the bottom of the tanks, a lot of the heavy material, uranium, plutonium, and it's going to start a chain reaction on its own. And the gases that build up in the tank when they hit oxygen is going to detonate. If you have an earthquake, that water starts running out of some of the tanks, you have to abandon the site permanently. You, can't, you can kill 100,000 people a day, but you still can't stay there. Typical amidst the ice wall will not stop the groundwater from entering the crippled Fukushima Daiichi reactor buildings. This is why you don't hear about it anymore. And the reason it was built because taxpayers paid for it and they were able to steal a lot of money. <clears throat> the ice wall began operating in March and has not yet made a meaningful impact on reducing the amount of groundwater enters the reactor buildings. Typical to abandon the Riva system. 2014, August the 12th, 2014, for the last three years, the system been unused and kept out of operations. And you can't dispose of it and dismantle it because it's contaminated. So when you put radiation through the filtration system, you can no longer go near it again. That's some of the evidence in that story there. I did put a link below to that story there. Japan may have to change decontamination efforts after the home, they run out of homeless. The reality, the wages for the work are almost the same as those for regular construction. So you would think that people at a nuclear meltdown are getting like huge money. Well, they're not because it's only the victims of society, the homeless and the destitute and the immigrants who don't speak the language. <coughs> Shocking. The whole story is just shocking. TEPCO's communications were severed after evacuating critical workers from the plant, which had continued to release radioactive material directly into the atmosphere for the last 21 months. Directly into the atmosphere. <clears throat> uh, they're professional lawyers. That's what uh, nuclear does. TEPCO shut down the ELP system. Now that's March 2014. The other one, the Riva system, which is France's, was 2014 in August. After contamination found in storage tanks. So all the tanks must now be decontaminated before the ELP system is brought back online. Now the problem with this story is you can't decontaminate a tank where you're putting vicious radiation into because it's lethal doses. The tank, if you chop off a two-foot chunk of the tank, bring it to a nuclear or to a subway system, everybody walks past it, gets a lethal dose. You can't go in and decontaminate it because the metal is contaminated. You can't decontaminate it. And we're talking about the numbers we're talking about. If they were actually doing it, these are absurd numbers. You can't get near the site, let alone the tank. We don't know yet when we can resume operating the system as we not detected the cause of the defect. No, no, no. Like I showed you earlier, the system immediately becomes so radioactive the workers can't go near it. You can't physically change the filter once you try using it. It's not like an oil filter for your car, you know? It's lethal doses. TEPCO is still struggling to keep their head above the contaminated water. So they claim 8.7 million becquels per liter of tritium, 2.3 billion becquels of cesium, and 750 million becquels of other radioactive material in each liter of contaminated water. Now the idea of that story is to get you thinking of tritium and cesium. But that's not what the biggest byproduct of radiative fuel is. It's curium isotopes. And you need lead sheeting 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium. 
So first off, you can't measure tritium when you're talking about 2.3 billion becquels of gamma and this very vagueness of 750 million becquels of other radioactive material and 5,000 tons of water captured leaked out of this one trench. Now the problem with that is, if this goes through the filtration, this is what they're putting allegedly through the filtration system, you can't step over the lines or the pipes on site because these are lethal doses from hundreds of feet away. When, when they're, like we're only talking about one liter, these are absurd numbers. And first off, there's no way there's 8.7 million becquels of tritium. You can't measure tritium when it's pounded by all the other isotopes that they won't even acknowledge what they are. Toyo Electric determines human error and was the cause of contaminated leak. <clears throat> so 100 tons of water at 240 million becquels, atomic decays per second, these are atoms, isotopes that are pulsing every second, per liter of better ray emitting substances out of a storage tank over nine hours. Well, look, if you discovered it, you died right away. These are absurd doses we're talking about. So these were cover stories for not doing nothing on site of better ray emitting substances. Strontium, plutonium, americium. Japanese government criticizes TEPCO's poor management of leaks. Leaks. Oh, sh Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Sugar said on Monday, it's unacceptable to have contaminated water from the plant's storage tanks flowing into the oceans. And then he was one of the first ones, as soon as he got elected, he started with the propaganda, right? Typical fails to deliver and promise to install a fence to restrict the contamination. <clears throat> now, the, the problem was, it was gonna cost a billion dollars, he said, to build a fence and would increase TEPCO, which was nationalized then by the federal government because it went bankrupt. And the government agreed not to publicize the arrangement, but TEPCO did not undertake the work they promised to complete. So no fence, no ice wall. Not only that, uh, they flew over, the Americans flew over Fukushima Prefecture with their airplane at 1,000 feet. And they were getting, the red was 3,000 becquels a square meter from a thousand feet up. <clears throat> you think the current prime minister is down in that zone? Typical image contaminated water leaking from multiple storage pits. So storage pits, these are bladders. 60 meters long, 53 meters wide, six, 18 feet deep. And that they have 6,000 becquels per cubic centimeter. These are absurd numbers when you scale it up to liter. And at you can't get up and walk around. And uh, let's see this picture here. See people actually walking on top of the big bladder bags? If they were actually full of radiation, the bladder bags are so thin, there's no shielding there they all die right away. Per centimeter, 6,000 pickles per centimeter. It's insidious numbers. 13,000 tons of highly contaminated water to an adjacent tank and storage pit. You can't transfer that. You can't, anybody gets near it gets a lethal dose and you can't get up and walk on it. It was all meant to trick you into believing they're not killing the Pacific. That's what all of these stories were about. More contaminated water leaks to Fukushima Daiichi. Workers were transferring contaminated workers, which is the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. The immigrants don't speak the language. This is 290,000 becquels per cubic centimeter. <clears throat> per cubic centimeter. And that works out 6.3 billion becquels for 22 liters is 286,000 per liter of just one 
emitter. They're not talking about all gammas, alphas, neutrons. They're just talking about probably beta, right? TEPCO gets approval to release more water into the Pacific 2015. ELP system brought back online 2014. And of course, June to uh, August 2014, right, we had the other headlines showing you these systems didn't work and that they couldn't even decommission them because they're so radioactive. It, which is processed by the ELP system has not only been damaged equipment causing corrosion and leaks, but also prevented workers from spending periods of time working near the system because it's so radioactive. The workers being the homeless, Japan's failing to live up to pledge to accept global assistance and global expertise in the wake of Fukushima. Half of the Fukushima workers may be illegally contracted. Half? That's all we see there is the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. It's unequivocal. That's what's going on. TEPCO is still struggling to keep their head above contaminated water. Unit 2 turbine building contains levels of radiation comparable to those seen in the first weeks of the nuclear disaster. And we already showed you that, right? 2.35 billion becquels of cesium. Now, why don't you talk about uranium and plutonium? Because that's what the reactors actually run on. Because that's how they lie to you. That's how that actually works. So the Fukushima fallout plume from Japan. That's actually global warming, pulsing energy every second. But the new prime minister is saying they're going to bring all the nuclear power plants back online to stop global warming, but yet there, the reason there is this accelerated global warming in the last 10 years and mass die-offs is because of the endless plume now circling the planet continuously, non-interrupted line of radiation. Japan has 54, had 54 reactors they're going, they're going to try now to bring 30 back online. Once again, you see the blur black, blurred black ground. You see the arm there with no body and stood up in a place where there's no room for him. You see the top pictures at the very top where you can't translucent, where you can see through to the back here, but you can't see the blue stack at the top. You can't see the blue stack at the very top. And the other one with the fake arm is faded out at the top, completely um, blotted out from, f um, from the Photoshop itself. And let's try that again. So they, he never went there, it's photoshopped. So we have a poll tonight. Should he resign and apologize? Which is what he should do, right? 100%. Too coward to go there. Too coward. Too much of a coward to even go there. I think that's just incredible. Too much of a coward to even go there. Should Japan Prime Minister apologize for faking the picture and then resign? Uh, overwhelming 92% says yes, he should resign. And he should, right? He should resign for faking the picture. <clears throat> That's not rocket science. Yep, so he faked it. 
You faked it. 100% fake. I, I was shocked. Like, I had a big show planned for tonight. And when I realized that he actually faked it. Yeah, it's heartbreaking, really. And it's rain. It's actually raining there, because you can see the water on the rail. That's that's the that's the trick, right? That's why they got the umbrella. So yeah, water is sprinkled on the rail there, but the background is not blurred. It's faded. It's fo it's Photoshop. That's unequivocal Photoshop. Yeah, it's, it's a sad day when the Prime Minister of your country, one of the first things you do is Photoshop. Anyway, I was in the woods today looking for animals and birds and insects. And uh, I was talking to one gentleman who lives local here, goes in there every single day. He told me about two years ago, the rabbits disappeared. He said it was paradise. You come in here and get a few braces of rabbits. And all of a sudden, everything disappeared. He said it was almost, it was bizarre. Everything disappeared. Uh, the, all the birds, he said, disappeared. All the, now, I never gave him any prompting. He was telling me, right? All the rabbits have disappeared. There's no part reach. There's no birds flying in the sky. He said, not even starlings or, or sparrows or robins. Nothing's in there. He said, the insects have all but disappeared in here. And he was in his 60s. He's been coming in here. He goes in there every day since he was a kid. He grew up locally. And in the winter time and fall, like now, he likes to, to get some rabbits and a few partridge or a grouse. And he said about two years ago, they completely disappeared. His brother-in-law has a couple of beagle dogs. They came, they came up and uh, still couldn't find anything. So the last two years, he said nothing. Now, I, I was in there. I didn't find anything, no birds flying. And uh, I'm a little bit exhausted. All that fresh air takes you, right? It's called uh, forest bathing in one sense, where you, you go in the forest and your senses are kind of overwhelmed. So say goodnight to everybody. Uh, Brandon, got a big show for tomorrow night. I got almost a thousand headlines to cover on behind. Um, I don't mind that, we'll get to it. But I might just start doing show after show after show of headlines. Shane Clark, Dana Nasana, hi Dana, Shane, Strontium Milks, Gunder Shills, <laughs> indeed, eh? Uh, Ella, James Lucid, hi everybody, only serve one king, hi Lori, Colette, Sandra, HTML, Sam, just coming down from the comments, Anna, C3, We got a big show for tomorrow night already ready to go because we had to do this one tonight. And the nuclear industry now has gone into propaganda mode. COPS 26 is, uh, is coming up on November 10th. And so the nuclear industry is, is trying to displace all narratives. Just nuclear is allowed to be spoken why this is happening. Fukushima Revelations.
John Cranshaw. John Crenshaw, Dana Nasana, this is Hi Lane. I don't see Lane there. Hi Lane, anyway. Maybe I missed it. So we'll be back tomorrow night. And, uh, I got a great show lined up for tomorrow night. Some of it's about Santa Susanna and the Woodley fire that he had. All kinds of fantastic headlines. We almost got another marine die-off video ready to go. We might end up doing it this week. Emaciated everything again. It's unbelievable. So tonight's kind of a short show compared to normal. 26 volts. And 92% says Japan's Prime Minister should apologize and resign. It's awesome. We'll end that poll right there. Good night, everybody. God bless. Hugs for everybody. Have a great night. Kind of an easy show for everybody at night. It's a one hour show basically. Yeah, one hour show. Not used to doing a one hour show. <laughs> you should go till you drop, right? My shirt looks weird, eh? That'll teach me. God bless everybody, hugs for everybody. Yeah, hug Sandra. Good night, everyone. Colette, extra hugs for everybody. Ella, HTML. Have a great night, a great evening, a great day tomorrow. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. We'll rock and sock them tomorrow night. Take care, folks. Good night, Laurie. Take, good night, everyone. Take care.